Welcome to the third part of the series login and authentication in Ionic Angular. Thanks for your response for the previous two parts. This part will focus on how to write the login and authentication guards as well as logout and token verification functionality. So let's start. In the last demonstration, you watch how the user can log in into the application with the valid credentials. So let's try for the invalid credentials. Any random password. So no proper error message is displayed here. On the server side, change this condition and return the response with empty braces as we are not uh, returning any data here. Run the node server. On the client side, if no token is received, then return that invalid credentials. Take the response, cross check it and set the error message. And in the HTML, display the error message. So again, any random mobile number, any password and login. So now it's properly displayed invalid credentials. Now the valid credentials. Okay. Now on this page, need to add the logout button. In the authentication service, add a logout method. Set the is authenticated to false. Remove the token from the local storage. And navigate to the login page. Take a simple button for logout. And call here the logout method of the authentication service. The token is already stored in the local storage. Click on the logout. The token deleted. Now the user is already logged in into the application. And if you try here. Or the login page so it's navigating to the login page to restrict this we need to add here the login guard generate a guard using the ionic command the authentication service add a method is token expired well we'll check if the token is expired or not retrieve the token from the local storage, pass it to this method and decode it. Then from the decoded take token, take the expiry. Check if it is expired and return the result. Add another method to check if the user is authenticated. Return the token from the local storage. If no token on the local storage, then return false. It means the user is not authenticated. If the token exists, pass the token to the method is token expired. If it's written to, means the token is expired, then return the false. Else, if the token is not expired, return true as a return value. Open the login guard, required imports here, add the constructor, then for the can activate, call the is authenticated user method of the authentication service, take its return value. And as it is a observable boolean, we will return here the observer. Check if it is authenticated, then navigate to the profile page. In the app.routing.module file, 
add the login guard for the login page. Now user is already logged in. Try to access the login page. So the login guard is working perfectly here. In the next part of the series, we'll see how to apply the authentication guard. Till then, take care. Don't forget to like the video. Bye-bye.